Hello and welcome to my channel Inch by Inch Art. Today I'm going to be doing the second part of my series for making a modified miniature out of a centaur and a dollar store scorpion. I finished the modification and I've moved on to painting. I decided that I wanted this to be a very metallic creature. It's a magical creature so I thought that metallic would work really well. I have this set of cheap acrylic metallic paints that I actually got at the dollar store. It comes with a bunch of different colors. There's everything from gold, copper, bronze, then there's a metallic red and a metallic green. I put the metallic red all over the body thinking it's a metallic red, it would look neat, but the further I get along with it, the more I feel like it's starting to look like a lobster. <laughs> so I eventually decide that that's not how I'm going to leave it, but I do give it a good coat of the red metallic all over, as well as painting the double-ended axe in a bronze color. It might look kind of gold in the image, but it is actually one of the more orangey metallic colors, not the gold. After I decided that the red metallic wasn't the way I wanted to go, I used my folk art color shift paint. It's called Black Flash. I cover the whole body with this over the red, although I do leave some spots still showing as they originally were. So the tip, well, the last two segments of the tail I leave red, though I do change the color of the spike or stinger at the end. And when I do the black color shift paint over all the red, I don't put it on really thick because I did like the red as an accent and I felt that it helped emphasize the segments and loads of detail that I had put into the sculpture. I decide I want to give it accents that match the weapon as well because I think it would look cool to have a scheme like that. So once I've finished the black metallic, I move on to painting the staff of the weapon brown because it's just a wooden staff. I felt that I had so much metallic on there, I just I needed a different color. Here I'm painting the face armor and helmet and head spike all in the same metallic as the weapon and the spike on the end of the tail. It dries a very different color than when it goes on wet so it looks a lot lighter than when it's dry. I also made sure that the spikes on the claws were the same bronze color. I really liked having some matching parts across the whole thing. Here I am mixing the black wash. I just used a cheap black acrylic paint and put a lot of water in it. It's probably three quarters water, maybe even more. And then I add even more water as I'm putting it on so that the black acrylic paint really seeps into all the little details and cracks as it washes down it, but that it's not too heavy of a paint in any one spot as well because I want my metallic to shine through. So I even go back with just a wet paintbrush and clean up and wash off some areas where it looked like the black paint was resting too much. And then I take a little piece of paper towel and dab off some excess water and paint. It is a monster, so I was happy for it to be really dark. I thought that that would be fine and emphasize its creepy nature. I'm just adding a different color to the base. I figure most scorpions live in sandy desert areas, so I would just paint the base with a sort of sandy, dirty color. It's not the greatest color. I probably, I would have liked some sort of other texture, maybe even putting sand on it, but I don't have any sand on hand. So I just went with this and I was trying out a new way of making a base using toilet paper in a paper mache style on cardboard. So I figured I would just try it out this way and see how the end result was. And I'm just doing a black wash over top of the brown paint on the base. 
I just wanted to emphasize all the detail of the paper mache and to make it look more like a shadow underneath the monster as well. I haven't thought of a name for this yet. I'm sure I will by the time I put the video up. I've just been calling him the Scorpion Man. <laughs> Here's them all painted. Now for an interesting effect, I decided that I was going to try to do some glittering eyes, but I wasn't sure how to go about it. So usually what I do for eyes is I have some sort of gloss, so either clear nail polish or a UV resin. Because this is so small, I decided a dental pick with a little bit of clear nail polish and the green glitter, if I could just get one piece of glitter on the end and then stick it into the dot indentation I had made when I sculpted it for the eyes. It actually worked out really well. I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be way harder than it was, especially because I kept picking up more than one fleck of glitter, but I managed to get just one in there. And there were a few times that I got two instead of one and I just wiped them back off and came out fine. It's just a little tiny extra detail that when it's moving or you're positioning it or looking at it really closely, you notice it. I'm trying to show it here if you can see it. So that was going to be the end, but then I decided after I did my final shots that the contrast just wasn't there and everything was way too dark. The easiest remedy for this and what I do for most of my character minis is a light dry brush of acrylic paint. I just take the acrylic paint on my paintbrush, rub it on some paper towel until it gets to a really thin coat, and then I lightly brush it over the top of a mini. I started with a white and ochre blend for the ground to help with the lighter sandy look that I wanted. Then I used just white acrylic paint to do a light white dry brush across the entire body texture. I did this in progression with a subtle brush across the whole body, then added two coats to the lower down top body parts, such as the scorpion back, and finally I did three coats on the head, top of the shoulders, hands, and the tail tip. The intent was to give extra highlight to the top where more light would naturally hit. This is also usually referred to as xenothal highlighting, but most people use spray paint to do this. I just consider this a simplified approach to it when I'm in a rush or just simply don't have spray paint. I think that it made it look a lot better. I really liked how it boosted the contrast between the figure and the base as well. And here's the finished product. Great metallic sheen. Lots of fun detail. Got that glittery glowing eye. Definitely creepy and way better than the weird centaur and just some random dollar store scorpion. I hope you enjoyed this and if you think you'd like to see more of my art videos, please like, follow, and subscribe.